Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from uh, Oil and Gas uh, Training Series. In this video, we are discussing about uh, oil and gas training and uh, emergency shutdown operations. Hope you have watched all of my previous videos. So, uh, this video also regarding about uh, process safety management, process safeguarding system and uh, process safety itself. So, welcome to this video. Emergency shutdown system is uh, designed to minimize the consequences of emergency situations related to typically controlled flooding, escape of hydrocarbons or outbreak of fire in hydrocarbon carrying areas of uh, areas or areas which may otherwise be hazard. Functionality we can discuss. Uh, traditionally, risk analysis has concluded that the emergency shutdown system is in need of a high safety integral level, typically SIL, that is safety integrity level 2 or 3. Basically, the system consists of uh, field mounted sensors, values, uh, valves, sorry, sorry, valves, and trip relays, system logic for uh, processing of uh, incoming signals, alarm, and uh, HMI, HMI that is uh, human machine interface units. The system is able to process input signal and activating output in accordance with the cause and effect chart defined for the installation. Look at this picture. Uh, we can get some more idea about uh, uh, process safety management in general. <coughs> what is it? So, we this uh, look at this green graph. Uh, we are, uh, let me take one uh, laser pointer. So, look at this one. Uh, process value. This is uh, process is uh, normal, green color. Process is very normal. So, we have discussed about the various process, oil and gas process. Uh, separator is working. So, desalter is working. So, process value is uh, in normal uh, uh, level. So, process control system is there. Uh, in, in my previous videos, uh, we already discussed about uh, level control system, pressure control system and uh, temperature control system. Various control system, uh, level transmitter, level sensor, level transmitter, level control loop etc etc so the process is controlling in this area by a process control layer so we have discussed about that one process is by using the set value okay we can say it is set point normal operating value so once it is crossing in this level uh, so that means uh, process variable is very varying or moving up and down from the uh, set area set point the process alarm is uh, coming so, the process alarm is uh, crossing the uh, normal operating uh, process value. So, that is the process control system. So, it is coming in process alarm here. And uh, it is uh, some more in this area. Remember, the, in this area is uh, more safe and uh, safe process operation is going well here. But in coming to in this area, process shutdown. In this area, what is happening in this process area means the process uh, parameters are uh, deviating from the normal operating value. So, that one is uh, identifying here. So, alarm, process alarm is so just to uh, providing information to the operating people. There is no action on process alarm. But in process trip is coming means some automatic uh, shutdown, automatic trip uh, stopping the equipment, running the equipment is going to stop or uh, open valve is going to close or some closed valve is going to open or etc, etc. Uh, is happening in this area, trip area. Still, it is in safe area. Remember, we are uh, maintaining the process uh, under safety or uh, making sure that one safety process is uh, under safe condition using the various uh, instrument condition and the various emergency shutdown walls. Actually, we are sh studying the shutdown system is in this area. So, still it is uh, going up. 
trip alarm uh, maintain and the process uh, shutdown system is worked but still it is uh, uh, escalating from the uh, uh, emergency so it is the emergency shutdown safety layer is uh, taking place so what is that emergency shutdown taking place is uh, psv is there in another another uh, this one is uh, this all we can call is a prevent uh, method to maintaining the process of operation to be safe but uh, in this one is uh, the real fire is started or real gas leak is started re real hazard situation is started so in that one uh, we have to mitigate the hazard uh, system so active protection layer and passive protection layer and the emergency response layer uh, this in the active protection layer we have psv is there pressure safety wall and in passive protection layer we have dike is there and uh, emergency response layer we have plant and uh, emergency response so I, I i don't want to teach in this one in detail in this video oh, of course we will uh, study teach this one in in detail in another video that is not our uh, aim he, in in this one we are planning to just focus only in this small video about emergency shutdown system and emergency shutdown valve so let us focus on that one in this area we already finished in this green layer area in our previous videos kindly try to watch in our uh, uh, process instrumentation modules one by one if you didn't watch uh, still uh, and the process operation as well so one by one time to please take to time to watch uh, all of my videos to get the flow and uh, information in order so that will be better for your understanding and uh, knowledge improvement so in we will we will uh, uh, study in the today about the emergency shutdown system operating in this area so we will, let us go and uh, 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 understand uh, what is more about uh, uh, emergency shutdown system so all coming in this in this category shutdown system uh, uh, let us uh, stop this one and uh, the new esd system designed to protect personal and equipment from hazardous event that may occur uh, within the planned boundaries and to prevent such events from escalating the to include adjacent equipment the new esd system is designed to protect uh, already uh, we have discussed about this one into our previous uh, uh, videos Uh, ESD system is designed to protect uh, personal and equipment and envir environment uh, from hazardous event that may occur within the planned boundaries and to prevent such events from escalating to include adjacent equipment uh, it will do uh, this by automatically isolating process stream shutting down all but critical equipment depressurizing all equipment operating uh, at pressures significantly over uh, above 100 psi g uh, reducing the inventory of uh, volatile liquid and by sounding the general alarm uh, for no uh, for all non essential personnel to evacuate the facility so it is clear that one so what is uh, an esd is going to take place it is automatically isolating the process stream shutting down but all critical equipment depressurizing pressurizing uh, significant equipments uh, reducing the inventory of volatile liquid and making a general alarm to inform all uh, non essential uh, personnel to evacuate the facility in 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 brief you can say that one, uh, this is the uh, uh, core meaning of uh, uh, esd emergency shutdown system uh, basic the theory what is uh, explaining that one basic theory a comprehensive uh, a process uh, planned emergency shutdown system in general we normally we call the only esd system not a pesd system uh, p is uh, no, uh, normally planned is not uh, uh, using in uh, many abbreviations esd system Uh, planned emergency shutdown uh, system consist of uh, input from fire and gas controllers and other field devices uh, and an algorithm which is used to drive output of alarm 
shutdown and graphic displays the purpose of the control system is to one monitor fire and gas conditions of central production gas reinjection gas plant or satellite production or whatever the processing operator not only this area whatever the operating plant or uh, industry we can uh, monitor and fire and gas conditions in general and shutdown uh, related related compressors heaters valves pumps even whole plant based on the fire or gas alarm conditions or most of the uh, equipments uh, running uh, rotating and static equipments uh, uh, connected to this uh, uh, plant uh, uh, system perform maintenance task or related functions such as esd bypass fire or gas zone bypass individual valve open close permissive of premium permissive of compressors or pump start stop heat switch on off or so on uh, various valve and actuator assemblies on a plant are made to fail open fail close uh, if you remember in my previous video on instrumentation basic instrumentation i don't remember exactly what is the number uh, we have studies that on a control valve is uh, operating by pneumatic system so once it is operating pneumatic system once that pneumatic air compressed air pneumatic system means compressed air around 85 psi g uh, in that one uh, in that case uh, if air fail uh, the valve is going to normal uh, position that means either it is closed position or it is a uh, open position so valve is uh, once the air fail air, i told you that air is the driver of the valve compressed air is the driver of the valve once the driver is away or air is uh, or breathing air is uh, stop uh, the valve will go to normal position either it is closed position or it is uh, open position if you remember that one i we have discussed in uh, my earlier video so that is uh, applicable here also in uh, emergency shutdown emergency shutdown logic is working once the fire is coming that signal is uh, captured by the uh, system so it will connected to immediately connected to the air loop compressed air loop so that system will release the air that air make fail so in that fail happen so the logic is set in such a way that uh, whichever the valve is fail close fail close mean here who is failing air air fail that valve will go to open position some valves air fail it will go to close position that is what going to discuss here various valve actuator assemblies on a plant are made to fail open or fail close remember that one here fail means air fail compressed air supply fail that there is a mechanism is there we can make that one air fail or uh, air fail or air two like that one that that system is uh, we can make using solenoid valves we will discuss in our coming videos that one is about a solenoid valve fail open air closes the valve release of pneumatic pressure causes the valve to open this typical of type of valve is using as a bdv blow down valve which is which will release any pressure of the this one if you remember my one of the my other video about a separator Uh, in uh, that separator uh, in uh, emergency shutdown or uh, trips system uh, i have specifically mentioned that one uh, bdv is using in the gas outlet lane when the pressure is above a set point or trip condition level that uh, uh, air is releasing using a bdv blow down valve it is is a typical esd valve emergency shutdown valve but uh, working in a reverse way means once the air fail this valve will open your normally esd is working one air fail this valve will close that is using in the input area or inlet area in the upstream area uh, compared to any of the equipment inlet area field inlet area so but in this one uh, the bdv is working in the downstream or uh, discharge area of a gas line so to release the air release, release the, in the separator inside the pressure or equipment inside the pressure bdv is uh, fail to open valve working as a bdv blow down valve releasing the Uh, gas pressure to flyer or uh, any other uh, safe location <laughs> fail closed air opens the valve releases pneumatic pressure crosses the valve to close this type of valve is usually called sdv shutdown valve which will shut in or isolate any process vessel
purpose of an emergency shutdown. Uh, sometime, despite the plan to operate a operator's best effort, things get out of control with the possibility of dramatic effect on planned operation. When something dangerous happen, sorry, there must be some way of quickly and safe, safely shutting down the plant or isolating the area of the plant that contains the problem. An ESD system is made up of special purpose devices that are designed to quickly open or close walls, comma, energies or de-energies some of the equipment either from a manual station or automatically if certain operating limits are exceeded. The devices are operated by air or hydraulics or electricity or combination of all of th these three may be operated selectively by different modes of ESD depending on, depending on the type of emergency. <coughs> uh, just to look at this picture, we will get a clear uh, idea and understanding of uh, systematic approaches of uh, process safety management. Uh, let us start with uh, in the green side. Green side, uh, remember that when green side is more safe. So, it is uh, hazardous, uh, process operation is going on here smoothly. So, this is a preventing condition. This green is a preventing condition. So, any hazardous condition is there, still it is operating. But uh, you, due to uh, using a design construction like a review of P&ID, uh, QR and HASOP and uh, installing best engineering practices, safety instrumentation, etc. etc. We can use uh, best uh, minimize the hazardous condition to affect the planned, uh, affect the planned uh, in minimum uh, using the instrumentation methods and uh, other things. Uh, still, we can uh, prevent here more uh, startup uh, shutdown system, emergency handling like SOP, simulator, Pre-commission checklist, etc., etc. We can do here. Then we can do system procedure here. Various uh, work permit, internal audit, training, etc., etc. Then best practices. These all are uh, prevention method in this one. Or we can say proactive method. This one proactive method. Like say a long time uh, near misses, mock drill, uh, task observation, accident, incident, like this. All in this way we can. Uh, uh, keep our uh, process plant is uh, more and more safe. So this is the event. So we can keep away, 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 away from the event using more prevention and proactive methods. We can keep more away from the event, an hazardous event. But uh, towards that one, once it is happening, see warning devices. That is a, a hydrocarbon dictator, alarms in control, uh, control room, etc. Then uh, engineered safety devices, that is a direct mitigate can control. What is it? Load on system, equipment spacing, deluge system, etc. That is a reactive method in this area we can call. And safety equipment like PSV, ESD, that is what uh, day we discussed today. We are discussing today ESD. So, emergency shutdown system. That is what, so he, where it is coming here, where in the reactive area, in the event happened or event happening in that area, direct mitigate and control in this area. Or last option is a firefighting uh, device. Review this picture properly and uh, using in your uh, plant experience and knowledge, go and understand this type of uh, uh, instruments, uh, informations and equipments uh, where it is keeping your plant and understand more about this uh, systematic approach in process safety management. This will give uh, good knowledge and understanding on uh, ESDs. Uh, typical ESD modes are uh, as follows. Shutdown and isolate uh, rotating equipment. Uh, this will remove a source of uh, ignition and uh, stop a leak that may be located in the equipment but still allow the process to remain pressurized. Shut down, isolate and depressurize. The additional step here will depressurize the facility. 
Sometimes it is, it is only necessary to shut down and isolate a particular piece of equipment or process and the remainder process may be kept pressurized. That means uh, always ESD system keeping a level 1, oh, one 2, 3. So level 1 is the highest priority. That means uh, it is a serious event like a fire or a big gas leak. So we have to isolate entire plant. We have to shut down entire plant and depressurize. But uh, in level 2, uh, we have to, it's, it's a serious event even though we have to shut down the plant but it will may, it will wait for 1 minute or 2 minutes or, or a logically we can say some time, a time delay we will provide to start uh, depressurizing the plant. So means uh, actually it can check that when you say fault alarm or uh, something we can do within the uh, this uh, time within the time period to save the uh, valuable uh, hydrocarbon product uh, without uh, depressurizing. Uh, that is the uh, level 2. Or we can uh, some area of the plant also we can plan. And level 3 is always a unit like a compressor uh, some uh, uh, abnormality happened and it will trip only compressor not enter the plant. So unit trip, it, it is called uh, unit uh, ESD, emergency shutdown system, like that one. That is what it is uh, written here. Uh, there are also times uh, when it is not advisable to depressure because uh, that would uh, present a greater hazard. An example of this would be the release of combustible vapor to the atmosphere when there is a fire already burning in immediate area. Yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, this is the figure which is giving an uh, ESD valve. So, hope you have uh, watched the ESD valve uh, in your plant area. If you didn't watch that one, just to go to there and uh, it's uh, uh, just to go and watch there an ESD valve. Most of the time an ESD valve is uh, making a bowl valve. Definitely we will take coming to take a entire one uh, specific video on valves. Uh, various type of uh, old walls and it is uh, specification, peculiarity, uh, peculiarities and the characteristics, uh, advantages and disadvantages etc. We will definitely will take that one. So, uh, just to briefly I will mention that one is a ball valve is using for uh, ESD walls because of it is a fast quick closing uh, and a slow opening uh, uh, property. So this is an ESD valve. You, you, you can see that one pneumatic air system, lot of uh, pneumatic air system is uh, coming here and the regulators are there. So compressed air coming here and it is, uh, air is the driver of this valve and it is operating a piston and a drum cylinder is there. So piston operator valve is this one. So uh, we will uh, discuss in detail about uh, construction details of a ESD valve in later. Uh, activating an ESD system. An emergency shutdown could be activated automatically or manually. Uh, automatically means how that is, uh, if you remember my previous uh, uh, video on instrumentation uh, trip system. If you didn't watch that one, I will request you that one to watch again that one. So, in the trip system is activated. Uh, in any case, uh, say example, a separator level high high or uh, pressure of uh, pressure uh, switch high high in the separator. So, automatically this ESD uh, valve will close. So, this is a, actually this picture is taken from a separator. So, this is a separator feed line or uh, pressure outlet line or liquid outlet line. So, we can say that. So, if the pressure is uh, high, yeah, this uh, ESD valve will close. Simple. That is the automatically. So, it is uh, this system is connected to uh, that is uh, uh, pressure switch high high or level switch high high. Once it is activated, that logic is activated. That logic is activated, the entire loop is uh, connected to pneumatic system. That sol sol electrical system is isolate. Electrical disconnection will come. Electrical uh, de-energize will come. Immediately the connected uh, solenoid will de-energize energize, and the connected uh, sol solenoid is connected to here in the uh, valve, uh, ESD valve that will uh, go to fail close. Uh, solenoid is, uh, I couldn't see solenoid is here. Yeah, yeah, in this one is the solenoid I think or I have to check it again where is the solenoid is uh, placing here. 
so uh, okay let us see it uh, later later stage in that one so automatically we can uh, emergency shutdown could be activated for example an automatic esd could be activated uh, where a gas monitor detects the gas all source of ignition would be shut off the station isolated in addition ventilation fans uh, must be turned off might be turned on to clear the gas from the building manual shutdown stations are uh, more common in uh, manned facilities and allow an individual to shut down a section uh, of, of a facility quickly that is uh, automatic shutdown systems are there but uh, that is uh, esd valves are there and uh, uh, definitely uh, air pressure low low uh, instrument air pressure low low activated the entire plant will trip even though manual shutdown stations are also providing uh, an additional security feature uh, for the oil and gas plant so any operator any control room person or uh, any responsible person can initiate uh, a manual shutdown as well <coughs> these stations are usually uh, located outside of the building at on the normal route, uh, route of travel so they can be activated while on the way of uh, emergency situation so air or gas operator shutdown system uh, so we already discussed about this one most field facility utilize pneumatic devices to shut down equipment with either uh, compressed air or fuel gas providing the source of power so this is the uh, that uh, air system is uh, coming here so this one look like a, uh, a solenoid valves where it is a solenoid valve you have to check it that one where is it in this picture this is the air coming and the air regulator is here the compressor air is coming to go into regulator to regulate the pressure of uh, this one uh, so this one is a pneumatic this one uh, solenoid valve this one this is the solenoid valve here and uh, yeah this one is the solenoid valve here solenoid valve need an uh, electrical supply and pneumatic air this also required this one so emergency shutdown valves uh, is another type of automatically actuated valve esd valve these valves can either normally open or uh, normally close uh, normally closed valve is usually used as sdv and other one is a bdv uh, so shutdown valve and a blowdown valve below is an example of a single acting actuator these valves are made of full size in 1 inch to 16 inch so you can see that one a retain spring and open position and closed position air in and vent all uh, and piston and cylinder is here so uh, when air is uh, like uh, air to close valve is mean air in means valve will be in open position when the air release or air fail that means the valve will be in, in closed position in the top there is a indication uh, is available uh, valve is uh, whether it is a closed or uh, opening position Uh, the air pressure in in pushing the piston compresses the spring when attached to bdv the pressure on the spring of the actuator would be holding the valve closed the air in that is air in this one air in may be supplied by a pneumatic level switch uh, as in the figure so when the level switch is activated by a high level level at the pressure is vented the spring expands and open the bdv is a critical pressure released solenoid valve as i told you solenoid valve is a three way valve one side it is connecting electrical electric solenoid valve is operating by uh, electricity and magnetism so electricity using to magnetize so magnet is pushing the valve open and uh, air air is uh, air is uh, uh, passing through it so here the electrical connection is there electrical connection is energizing the magnet and the magnet is lifting up the valve is keeping open this is the uh, solenoid valve principle simple principle what we are discussing so then the, the pneumatic air passing through this one and it this pneumatic air that is a compressed pneumatic air supplying to the uh, esd direct esd valve uh, to the driver uh, to the pressure drum and piston so once the esd happen uh, the logic is uh, energized logic is happen logic is activated so electrical switch is disconnected it is deenergized immediately this is disconnected the the uh, magnet is deenergized and 
this valve is become closed. So, pneumatic air cannot go in. Pneumatic air not going this way means the downstream there is a ESD valve is there. That valve is uh, uh, keeping fail to open or fail to close. Now, it is air is fail. Now, fail to close or fail to open valve is connected here. That valve will go to its normal position. Whether it is uh, fail to open or fail to close. This, that, this, this is the way is a pneumatic solenoid valve is working. This is a uh, principle of solenoid valve. So, just to go in your uh, working area to understand where is the solenoid valve, where is the electric line is connected and where is the air pressure in and uh, air signal in, compressed air signal in and compressed air signal out. Just to understand and identify. And moreover, if you have any P&ID is available, definitely I will uh, take a... Uh, dedicated class or uh, specific class for PNID review and understand. I will show this one in a PNID reading. Where is the how to? And if you have a PNID in your hand, you can. I, I will give you a homework for you. Just to review the PNID, find out a solenoid valve. How it is simplified? Symbol is representing a solenoid valve in a PNID. So that will be a good and PNID or and where is the PNID located and placed? Just above or below or nearby the ESD valve. So, these type of things just to review, understand. That will be the homework for this week. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope you have understand some basic knowledge uh, of uh, understanding on uh, emergency shutdown system and emergency shutdown valve, ESD and solenoid valve as well. Please subscribe this channel for uh, timely updates and information. Please join our telegram channel uh, uh, that is uh, Infos by Hamsa Vivava. Uh, we have also doing process training for various clients, corporate clients. If you have any, if, you, if any of the corporate client watching my video, please contact through my uh, gmail, Hamsa Vivava at gmail. Uh, and uh, please share my channel and uh, uh, share this channel to uh, your friends to reach this one to all of you, all of our friends, all of uh, those who are uh, want to learn, want to understand and studying oil and gas information, basic oil and gas information. We are just to uh, studying only basic uh, informations to suit you to understand uh, a better working knowledge in the oil and gas field. So definitely we will come back with another uh, video soon within a week. By the time, uh, goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye. Bye-bye.